Um, Austin Anderson, so senior manager again on the cybersecurity team. Um, uh, look over a couple of groups, but one of them is vulnerability management. Um, so what that means is making sure um, posture on all of our um, non-cloud devices are um, up to par uh, and where where we want them to be. So you can think of it, uh, you know, patch management, um, you know, is probably another good synonym for it, but it's really just making sure that any hardware or virtualized devices outside of AWS are um, latest and greatest from a um, vulnerability perspective. Where we really got started with with Fleet was we we were for for the last couple of years we'd really been running a very traditional what I would call vulnerability management program, um, using one of the you know big big name vendors out there uh, that I'll that I'll leave nameless here, um, a very uh, kind of pointed solution at uh, vulnerability management, um, and when that was coming up for renewals. Um, it gave us a good opportunity to kind of step back and see where were some of the some of the issues we'd we'd had with, with that product and to see if there was a better a better solution out there because we realized it's really just a a, a data problem um we we were we felt confident in being able to know what we want to look for and so we just needed the data and a and a platform to go and get it um with the hope of really, really pinpointing these are these are the issues, the, these are not, um, and and kind of ig ignore the rest of the noise. Um, so what it forced us to do is be really conservative on um, on any of kind of the asks to the the infrastructure teams that are that are putting in the fixes um, because we couldn't get as granular as we wanted to say, yeah, we're running a lot of you know. Chrome, you know, one, two, three version, but in reality, across our, you know, our inventory of devices, it's it's unlikely to, you know, ever be exploited. Um, I'd rather do that legwork on on my team and then go and ask and you know prioritize work on these infrastructure teams that are already you know extremely busy with things that you know probably could be or could not be vulnerable. Um, and it, being being able to be more exact allowed you know the hope is to allow will allow us to go to these teams less which is you know s saves everybody time you know fleet w w it gave us that flexibility um to, to kind of mitigate some of those two items that i just talked about um it is a more open platform that is maybe i don't want it, it without saying it's <laughs> more stripped down than a traditional tool and it really lets you build it yourself the team that are on the security side that are administering this today we're used to be able to log into a console and have a lot of this available um whereas now we're going to be able to build this exactly the way we want it um where that's just not possible on some of these other platforms so it was it was a little bit of a mind shift set of there might be additional legwork up front, but that's going to give us the opportunity to build a better product and eventually step away from some of these day-to-day -day tasks.